everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to Ready, Set, Pan. Today is a project polish update. So let's talk through how I've been doing in this project so far. It is getting towards the end of February. I'm wanting to transition into spring colors. So we have stuff that I have finished, stuff that I'm rolling in, stuff that I'm getting close on. We got lots of things to talk about. So without further ado, Let's dive into it, starting off with the color on my nails today. And of course, for reference, here is the current color wheel. Of course, this sparkly gold topper was done at the last update. So we're going to start off with the blue. This is the blue that I'm wearing today. It's it's getting down there in the bottle. It's getting, don't look too close at the nails. It's, there's such a kind of a disaster. It is so thick. It's hard to work with. Um, and it's getting everywhere, honestly. Um, this is from Essie. This is in Midnight Cami. And these are my progress marks. Now, like I said, I'm getting so close to being done. So this is where I was last month. Here's where I'm at at this point. And like, it's so messy. Like polish is getting absolutely everywhere. It is thick. It is getting stringy. I can still mostly work with this one. Where I draw the line is when you're having to dip in like twice for one nail because it's like it's you can't get anything out. That's where I draw the line. Painting your nails is obviously supposed to be fun. I have made some really good progress on this one. So I have reached for it 12 times in the last month, mainly for manicures, also for pedicures. I've done a lot of toppers, but guys, I have been so bad. I have not been taking like any photos or videos. I don't really have anything to show you. So this is gonna be a shorter update. But 12 uses on here to here, bring me to 25 uses in the project from when I rolled it in at this top line here. I don't know how much further I'm going to be able to push this one with how thick it is, but we will see. But that, of course, is my first color. So that was Midnight Cami. Next to it, we have another Essie polish. This one is in Merino Cool. This one I've done quite well in. Uh, this is the color here. This is where I was as of the last time. And you can see I haven't marked it. There is obviously like some settling down here because it has been sitting for a while because I am at the point where I am calling it done. Uh, it is still really thick and goopy, but not only is it difficult to work with, it doesn't cover the nail. So I only used this an additional five times, all of those manicures, bringing me to a total of 14 uses on the project from this point. Now just to do a quick comparison between these two, like, they're just about at the same point. So I might be very, very close with Midnight Cami to where it's like Merino Cool at the point I'm calling it done. Merino Cool has been open for a lot longer in my collection than Midnight Cami has, which is one of the reasons why I'm just, I'm just calling it like I can't get a good manicure on this one anymore. So finished polish. That's so exciting. So with that one being finished, let's move on to my nude color. So that one was really close to being done last time. This is from L'Oreal in Nude Demoiselle. Um, I had some troubles marking it last time. Those two marks are supposed to be the same mark. Um, as you guys can see, it basically hasn't moved because it's done. I used it at two additional times, now two times at three coats each. And especially when you have to do three coats, like... Yeah, I don't have the patience for it. For reference, the Essies, those were both one coaters because they're so thick at this point that if you try to do a second coat, it just kind of ruins it. This one, as you can see, there's a little bit of product that comes off, but not very much. So we are going to call this done. Two additional uses, bringing me to five uses in the project. Now, a lot of these marks were from last year, so we're starting from this point to here for five uses, just to keep that in mind. Obviously, a tiny bit left. I don't concern myself with trying to do like thinners and all of that. I don't want to play that balancing game. So we're going to call that done as well. So two empties this month. That's the end of my empties, unfortunately. Uh, this gold topper was done last month. So now let's move on to the red, which was new as of the last update. I did want to have a red in for Valentine's Day. So I rolled in the Sephora Color Hit Nail Lacquer. This one is an It Girl. This was brand new, and as you guys can maybe see, there is a tiny, tiny little bit of a gap in there. These creams take a very long, actually all of the Sephora collection colors take a long time to go through. I have used this for both manicures and for pedicures. I've used it a total of eight times, 
So you get to that little line right there. So it's going to start moving faster, obviously, the closer down we get, but it, it's a good dent. It's a cute little egg. Uh, I do enjoy this color, obviously. It's a very winter kind of red. So I do want to make sure I'm prioritizing this one before we get too far into the spring. So those were what I was working on, but because I have two finished polishes, bring me a total of three finished in the project so far, it's time to bring in some new colors. So you guys, are you ready? I, like, today, like, with the sun shining as bright as it does, it really makes me want spring colors. So I wouldn't say I'm getting bored of this blue, even though I've worn it 25 times. It's just I want more seasonally appropriate. So what I'm going to bring in are these colors here. So obviously much more on the pastel side, which is what I tend to prefer for my spring transitions. So let's start with this one here. Um, this is obviously coming off quite peach on the nail wheel when I was trying to build up the coats appropriately for it. Uh, on my manicure that I did to test it out in advance, this is a little bit more on the pink side compared to this peach because I really had to build it up on the nail wheel. And this is going to be my nude. So this is just a little mini from OPI. Um, I believe this one came in my most recent nail polish haul, uh, a little OPI set for the holidays that I got on 60% off for Boxing Day. Um, now this one, I have used it once. So I did it as a test manicure at three-ish coats, I think. Um, plus, of course, doing the nail swatch. So you guys can see, like, look at that dent already in there. I'm not marking it because, you know, this is basically like that one was counting more. Whatever. I'm not going to mark it for now, um, but just know that I think this one, this color, is going to be very similar to last year's OPI Gelato on my mind, which also requires free coats. I think I got like eight manicures out of that one, if I remember correctly. It got down to about here-ish or so, so I do expect this one to move fairly quickly. And the last color comes to us from my Plan to Pan Nail Polish for 2024. So this beautiful lilac purple, again, like a day like today, this is the kind of color I want to wear, but I'm still working on this one. This comes to us from Sally Hansen. This is their Extreme Wear uh, Nail Lacquer in the shade 559 Lacy Lilac. It obviously hasn't been used for a while, so we have a very clear settling mark, but there is a little bit of polish kind of sitting on the top, a little bit of an oil separation. So that's where I've marked it. This is a smaller bottle as well. This is only 11.8 milliliters compared to the Essie's which had 13.5. So again, not the biggest bottle, but it'll be really nice for this spring transition. So that's what I'm looking forward to. That's our starting point. So we've got a good dent on this one already. So now just to make this really complicated, that's my color story for the year so far. And then that's the current color story that I have as we kind of move into March. So let's talk about some goals. Um, I don't know how much more use I'm going to get out of this blue because, again, it's basically at the point where I called it with Merino Cool. I could get maybe five. I could get two. We'll find out. But I do want to finish that one. Uh, the red, I still want to make sure I get a decent line moved down on that one as well just because this is more of a winter red and I do have more of a spring summery red I would like to pull out. So I do want to get some good movement on that one. But otherwise, it's just kind of playing with these new additions. The peach color, I'm thinking maybe not, not a whole lot of use. I'm probably going to put more focus on this purple here because that's the one I'm really feeling right now. But the peach, which is me accidentally being trendy because apparently this is the color for the year, like that peach fuzz color. Yeah, yeah. Didn't realize that until after I painted my nail wheel. But that one is going to kind of be my nude option. Well, it's not super nude. I do prefer these kind of nudes, but it's going to work for now. But that's going to wrap up today's Project Polish update. We're doing really well. Again, we have three finished bottles for the year. Fourth one is getting really close. I'm so excited about that. But that's where we're going to wrap up today's video. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.